Hey, everybody. I want to ask y'all to keep us here on the East Coast in your prayers. Um, it's Christmas Eve, and we're getting, you know, I go in the living room. So I'm walking by. I don't watch TV, but my husband does. You know, and I can hear sometimes what's going on. And all I hear is warning, warning, warning. And I'm like, what the world? He's like, uh, and on the, here on the East Coast, we're getting, I've never heard it before, uh, Torcons or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Look it up. It's like a mixture of torrential, torrential downpours with tornadoes and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So it's getting ready to happen here. You'll hear the wind whip up in a minute. About blow you over. <laughs> it would about blow you over. But um, God has been telling me, as you've been here in the past couple months, to prepare. Prepare your house, your spiritual house. Prepare your physical home with whatever you can do. You know, and there wasn't much I could do with my physical home. But I'm going to tell you something. When you're doing all you can do for your spiritual house and for Jesus Christ, God will supply everything you need and some stuff that you want. God works that way, y'all. That's how Jesus Christ works. So it's so much more better to do all you can do for Jesus Christ than to not, I'll tell you that, than to not do anything at all. It's so good to seek after him all you can and tell people, share him with the world. Don't be afraid to share Jesus Christ with the world. Share him, you know. I think uh, my daughter ran into an angel last night. I had to run her up to Walmart. And uh, anyway, I'm telling you, there is evil on this world, okay? There's evil in this world, but there's God in this world, too. This is his world, okay? He created it. It belongs to him. So there are demons all over this place, all over the place. But there are also angels of God all over the place and more than the demons, more angels of God. So if you're a child of God... And you're seeking him with everything you got. You love him so much. You love him more than you can even explain to anybody. And he knows that he's getting that love from you. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of you, y'all. You got to trust him. If you're like, oh, I can't prepare my home because I don't have, I don't have there's nothing. God provides a way through strangers, y'all. Just do what you can do for Jesus Christ and let Jesus do the rest, okay? But say a prayer for us here on the East Coast, because we're getting ready to get something called a Torcon. I don't know, but the weather is just, the, the news is flashing all kind of crazy stuff, y'all. It's going to be ugly. It's going to maybe power, uh, probably I'm sure power outages and everything. Um, trees down, homes wrecked up. You know, we're getting these major tornadoes. I don't know, y'all, with, with uh, what you call it, typhoons. I don't know, it's some weird stuff. But we're in biblical times. Biblical times. But if you're a child of God, trust the Lord Jesus Christ with everything you got. I want to tell you that. But you can still say a little prayer for us here. Okay, I'd appreciate it if you did that. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, Jenny, Richard, Kevin, God bless y'all. Thank you so much.